Welcome back. In this video, let us understand how to use the left function. If my company wanted to change the employee ID with the first three letters of the first name. Basically, they wanted to use the first three letters from the first name and append with the existing employee ID. How can we do this? Let us see the options which are available in Excel. If I take the first name, first name, then I can use the function which is called as left. This is the function name and open the bracket, select the first name. Since I wanted to choose only the three letters from the first name which is aid from aiden i have to use comma here then three then close the bracket i got the first three letters the use case is i wanted to append this three letters with the employee id which will become the new employee id Since this is in different cases, what I will do is, I will also insert one more column, then I will use the upper. I will use another function which is called as upper, then use upper, open the bracket, then select the three letters which we have chosen from the first name. and we will make all these three letters as the uppercase. Now I have made these three letters as the uppercase. I wanted to now concat with the employee ID now. I will use the function concat, then open the bracket, select the uppercase, then comma then employee id itself so now the new employee id will look like this so going forward this will be the employee id which the company is going to issue for every employees so they wanted to use the first three letters from the first name and the employee id we got the employee id for the Aiden Roscoe. Since I wanted to use the same function across all the employees, I can simply drag the formula for all the employees. I got the first three letters from the first name. I will also convert to uppercase. The first three letters has been converted to uppercase and the new employee id with the first name and the employee id will get changed so this will be the new employee id which the company is going to issue for the employees they will use this particular format for the new employees as well. Since this contains the formula, what I will do is I will copy the entire range of cells. Then I can select anywhere and paste it. I will just paste the values so that it doesn't contains the formula. Now what I will do is I will copy this new employee ID and paste it into a new sheet then i will also copy the first name and the last name of the employees so i'll take this first name and the last name copy it
I will send this list to the manager so that the new employee ID list can be updated in the HR portal. So this way you can use the left function with the uppercase and concat to create the new employee IDs. You can also use the left function for other use cases as well. So this is one of the use case which I have discussed. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the content, please subscribe and share the video. Thank you and take care.